everywhere Justin Trudeau goes, there is a warm crowd that is absolutely delighted to meet him. But not in the way that he would want, of course. They're holding F. Trudeau flags, Freeland for jail, the WEF is corrupt, we won't eat the bugs, all of that stuff. And well, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone in between since it's Pride season... This happened again today. This is going to be an incredible video, but it wasn't just Canadian politicians like Justin Trudeau and uh, Crime Minister or uh, Deputy Crime Minister, whatever the hell her name is, uh, Mr. Speaker Freeland. It's actually the Prime Minister or President, Prime Minister of Poland, something like that. It's going to be awesome. Like, just a warm welcome to China. Before we get into it, I would encourage you to give a like and subscribe if you haven't already. really helps grow the channel and fight Justin Trudeau's suppression, as well as you've heard me say it a million times before. If you'd like to check out the merch shop, the link for that is down in the description, as well as the pinned comment below. Without further ado, do let's see what we've got in store today so this is what the inside of the venue looks like as you can see suits and ties photo ops let me be clear everything looks great all right you got uh, what um uh, 17 times carbon tax reward uh, diamond bracelet right there you've got ten thousand dollar suits these guys know what they're doing all right, and you can't see anyone outside. You can't see anyone outside. You can see the security detail, but they have no idea what's actually happening outside, but they kind of do because they had to walk through the crowd to get into the venue, which is what we're going to look at right now. So this is Karima on Twitter. A lot of people don't like her because she plays left and right and both sides, and doesn't really matter we're just looking at the clips raw footage this is going to be great so prime minister of poland shows up uh, to meet justin trudeau and the crowd gathers outside cafe polones in roncis valleys include i don't know where the hell that is roncis valleys am i even can I, am i english roncis valley why can't i say what that word is anyways we're just going to pretend that i didn't Fuck it up that bad. Let's take a look at this video clip. Here's Cafe Polonza in Ronces Valleys, apparently. You got the security detail. And you can hear the megaphones. When are you gonna man up? Talk to your own people. Look at yourself. You have three lines. Three lines of police cars between you and your own people. What kind of leader are you? Is this a democratic leader? Or are you a Come on, Justin. You've got some horns. Face the reality. Face the people. It's always peaceful in Canada. Like, there's no threats. It never turns into anything bad. But it sure is intimidating because everywhere Trudeau goes in public, the crowd shows up. Not to support him, but to heckle him and put pressure on him. And you know what? I love that. I love that. And especially when we have guests from other countries come, like world leaders, when they show up and they're like, Oh, hello, Justin. Let's see Canada. Because that's how all guests talk, like this. And then they just see, like, fuck you, Trudeau. Bow, 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 bow. Right? Like, it just shows that, oh, your own people don't like you. All right. So here we go. Here's the next clip. Uh, this is the one where Trudeau really gets heckled. Uh, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau takes selfies and shakes hands with people outside Cafe Polonas and Rekhanasville, or whatever I said it was. In the background, there are anti Trudeau chants and flags. Hey, hey, ho, ho, Trudeau must go. Here he comes. So he's got some support at the front. People want to take selfies. I'm sure that there's quite a few people there at the front that are just like... They can't get, can't wait to take a selfie and then just completely bash him online. Hey, Justin. Hey, pleasure as well. Right. And if I take that, for sure, for sure. All right. Thanks, guys. For sure. 
All right. Thank you guys for sure. For sure. I would love, I mean, it would be a good tactic. I'm just going to pause right there. It'd be a good tactic if like this, this guy or girl or person, I don't want to miss gender. Sorry. I don't know. It's pride season. You never know. But if this person right here standing next to Justin Trudeau, if they like, instead of holding, you know, F Trudeau flags, if they just went in and like infiltrated, you know, this meet and greet and took selfies with him and then said, Hey, how much did you pay that girl to sign the NDA? Like that would really get under Justin Trudeau's skin. You know what I'm saying? So obviously the security says, if you want to protest Justin Trudeau, you can do that over there on the other side of the street. But, but if you had some people that just weren't that vocal and wanted to get their moment of, you know, their five seconds of fame and do it right here while they take a photo op with Justin Trudeau, that would also be a viral moment. Just something to think about, people. Just something to think about. Great to see you. Hey, everyone. Great to see you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. Just oblivious to everybody else, eh? Look at the big F Trudeau flag. Oh, my God. Look at that. Media is the virus. Trudeau for jail. Right there across the street. Holy crap. Well, he got up on his Suburban and was waving. So he definitely saw that. But let's take a look. We got a couple of other photos here from Karima. You've got Trudeau's motorcade passing anti-Trudeau protest. Wef and Trudeau must go. Like, it's everywhere, folks. There is not a single place that Justin Trudeau can go to in Canada without the same signs and the similar crowd showing up. And that's not... It's not like he doesn't deserve it because he does. I mean, he has ruined this country. He has pissed so many people off. And again, I just want to take a second to express to you that your emotions towards this government, your emotions towards Justin Trudeau, they're valid because for him, it was just a signing a document to not allow people to go to work if they choose not to get the vaccine or it's him just signing a document and speaking to the press for, you know, more taxes increased like two, three times carbon tax. Like it doesn't actually impact him in any single way whatsoever all of his costs in life are paid for by us us taxpayers and it's just it's it's corruption it's valid to feel this much detest and hatred towards your government if no one else is going to validate you let me be the person to say you are not alone you aren't alone. They want us to feel like we're alone. They want us to feel like only one cuckoo crazy conspiracy person is going to show up and put this on their car. But every town you go to, there is a good amount of people that are going to do this. Every single town. It cannot be escaped. Even where Trudeau has majority seating, even the most liberal towns. Go to Vancouver, buddy. Go to Vancouver. See what happens. See what kind of protest there is. Go to Toronto. Go to these small little towns that I apparently don't know how to pronounce, right? Like, it's everywhere. And so you, your friends, your family, your neighbors, people you know, people in the comment section, you are all valid for feeling this way. You're not alone. And Trudeau tried to divide and conquer through the pandemic over the last three, four years. And to an extent, it definitely did divide people, but he, I don't think got what he wanted with the conquering part because it just showed to all of Canadians and the world that like, Hey, there's a lot of people that feel the same way I do. And I thought I was alone through this and I thought I was the only one. And so I'm going to stick with my people and we're going to grow more people and we're going to stand up for what we actually believe in. And that's fantastic. And that's why you watch these videos to see more people doing this stuff. And so that's where we that's where we're gonna end today's video. But I'd love to pass the question off to you. How do you feel about this? Do you think that it's bad, a bad look for Canada for this many protesters to show up every single time Justin Trudeau makes an appearance in public and say, Hey man, go screw yourself. You have ruined this country. Or 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 do you think that, that this is a good thing? This shows our democracy. This shows our freedom of speech and this shows what we are allowed to do and express our right to peacefully protest here in Canada before it's gone full China. That's where we're going to end it, guys and gals and everyone in between Pride season. Sorry, I got to be inclusive and progressive. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give a like and subscribe if you haven't already. 
and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for making it to the end of the video. If you want to support the channel financially, you can do so by checking out the merch shop linked right up there. Or if you want to do something for free, which is also absolutely acceptable and highly encouraged, you can subscribe right there. If you want to continue watching videos like this, you can do so by clicking or tapping right there to watch the next upcoming video. And if you want to watch a little bit of different content, but also Canadian stuff, you can do so by clicking right up there. That's my second channel, House of Canada, also known as the House of Commons Highlights. Thank Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.